Hey everyone, it's Istvan82. I'm back. I've been messing around with the audio here. I'm having all sorts of problems with it because right now, according to, well, let me show you. According to this, it's at zero volume and yeah, it's still loud, ain't it? I have no idea what I'm doing. I even turned down Windows sounds to see if that would help any. But, um, no, it doesn't appear to be doing that, so this is going to take me a bit longer to figure out than I thought. I was really hoping for just something quick and simple that would work right away, but no, no, it has to be a computer. Because, uh, as the old saying goes, the computer is evil and it hates you. And I've come to agree with that fully over the years, and... I'm not sure how my voice sounds at the moment compared to the audio because uh, I spent a lot of time messing with that and I thought I had it to a correct level and then all of a sudden it's like, lol, nope, we're gonna sound quiet. And it's like, well, god damn it. Sometimes you can't win. And those times usually involve messing with computers. I'm not sure, uh, I I'm gonna need to spend or I'm gonna need to work this out. Like I said, in another thing, I'm, it's hard to work through all of the problems that rise up from using a new computer when uh, you're still learning how, or you're still learning everything about it and recording at the same time. So it's just kind of a ooh zombie. Because yeah, the other thing is, with those volumes down as far as they are, I can't hear much of anything. I have. The volume on, because my computer's running through a stereo. The volume on the stereo is literally up to the point now where if a Windows sound went off, it would probably cause me physical pain. So I'm really hoping that there's just not that sudden pop-up noise that comes up when Windows has a sudden important thing to tell you that's not important at all. Because you will hear, well, you'd hear the noise on the video followed by a scream. And no one wants that. Uh, we're not going we're gonna be doing a 15 minute episode today because I actually have another quick thing I'm gonna do another special I'm gonna start which actually seems really neat to me uh, let me see I might as well tell you since I'm putting the video up there's um all right there's the new option in Minecraft which is a flat world and while the world itself is perfectly flat it, uh, and does not generate things like trees and it's three blocks up from bedrock you know it also doesn't generate resources and whatnot now that's kind of interesting however it will still generate things like npc villages and the npc villages it generates are full of little resources and interesting things like that so, Minecraft now has a built-in survival mode. Because if you're lucky, one of those chests will contain something like saplings. And since you will have to start over from scratch with those saplings, you... Yeah, it's basically like its own built-in survival mode. If you can't make it on the few resources you find in the NPC village... Which, thankfully, because the blacksmith's hut has lava in it, you can build yourself a cobble generator. Also, keep in mind, while you can build yourself a cobble generator, you don't necessarily have buckets unless you're lucky enough to find one in a chest. So, you, you've you gotta think in order to survive. It, it's... I think it's a neat concept. So, oh yeah, you've got plenty of dirt. How much does dirt help you? I mean, yeah, you start off with a wheat farm because the NPCs have the wheat farm already growing, but everything else is, if you don't find it in chest, you're shit out of luck. And I think it's great because it's sort of like a, uh, well, it's sort of like a you win or lose. And I already started a world. I didn't actually do anything, but I found an NPC farm. And, um, I think that it would be a very interesting experiment as a survival map to try and run it, so. 
I'm going to, well, I'm going to start a new world, and we're going to spend at least one, maybe two episodes looking to see if we can find an NPC farm. However long it would take us to starve to death. And uh, then we'll see where things go from there. I mean, I will be doing a survival map, but this survival map won't actually have any set goals. The point of it will be you, the viewers, set the goals. I mean, keep in mind, there won't really be any way to do something like, say, get to the nether or probably get to the end. But it could be an interesting... Oh, well, just be surviving. You're doing a damnedest to survive. So, I thought it might be fun. Like I said, you guys will set the goals. Uh, anyone? Oh, that's gravel. Alright, but yeah, you guys set the goals for me, and I'll do my absolute best to live up to them. And uh, I'm gonna try a whole, much like this map, everything will be done on camera, regardless of how long it's gonna take. And uh, there will be no cheating, which, trust me, that is actually pretty difficult for me. Uh, I'm pretty sure there should be support groups for people that are chronic cheaters at video games. Because I, I need to be, oh hell, I wouldn't just be a member, I'd also be the president. But, you know, I figure I owe you guys something for putting up with me and all the problems we're dealing with at the moment, so. I will do the non-cheaty way. Yes, yeah, I know. A bunch of issues we're trying to, or I'm trying to figure out. I said, new computer, a whole new set of ridiculous problems, and trying to figure it out on the fly so you guys still get at least semi decent videos. I mean, I'm not a great, uh, I'm not a great commentator, but I'd like to think that I can at least make you guys or amuse you guys some of the time. And you know what, you guys are pretty awesome to talk to and interact with, so I'd like to be able to keep you amused. I mean, I've yet to talk to one of you guys who what, didn't seem like a cool damn cat. So. No, I don't know. Oh, light just suddenly poured in, so I'm guessing there's lava somewhere. Yes, there is lava there. Alright, so time to be creative with how to get rid of lava. That's a lot of lava to be creative about. I don't think we're actually this creative. I think if we're going to be creative, we're going to need a bucket of water. But hey, we're at lava pool level. And that means we're at the level in which we could start finding diamond if we're lucky. Get some damn coal, though. Coal is always good. Of course, food is better, and we're we're gonna run low on that at some point soon. Well, actually, no, we're running low on that now because we have fuck all for food. So we'll run back up. Ah, oh, damn it! Damn you, delicious, delicious coal. You can never. You I still say you can never have too much coal. You could have an entire treasure chest full of coal, and it might still be useful to collect a vein of five. Because, hell, you never know when you might need to smelt down a few thousand pieces of cobble or something. Because, goddammit, you want to build your entire house out of smooth stone. Alright, there. Now, where the hell is the exit? Ah, up there. Ah. <sighs> Let's get out of here. Is it night or is it day? It is... Dite. Nay, it's day. Alright, let's see. Let's try and find food. Food, food, foody, foody, food, food, food. I can't kill all the pigs. I do still need to keep a few around. Ducks, however, ducks are good. Ducks are foodable. 
And I'm going to save the eggs because if I accidentally run out of ducks, maybe I can luck out and hatch one. I really do like this texture. Really, really do like this tech pack. Oh, yeah. Let's put the shit away. Egg, gravel. Uh, uh. Oh, we've, we've got pork chops. Well, I didn't need to do that. I feel dumb now. Alright, let's see. We need to do a. F let me. Let me make an axe, because. Oh, and a bucket. We need a bucket. Uh, we don't make buckets in the furnace. Alright, and... Well, first I've got to make sticks in order to make an axe. Yes, that's right, dumbass, you do. Alright, there we go. Uh, uh, uh. I don't think we need any more wood, but... I'm gonna grab some more just because... It's a good idea. Right. And as long as we're up here, we want to, I want to cut down the trees around the uh, home too, just because it'll give us a clear view if monsters are coming to horribly, horribly kill us. I swear to God, since I got this computer, I've actually gotten better at doing parkour-ish jumps. And parkourish jumps have always given me a hassle, so that's a little nice. Alright, let's see. Um, here. Alright, right, come on, come on. Don't be a ridiculously tall person. should hopefully clear out a good bit of space around the tower, so. Huh. All right. All right. We'll... Uh, uh, now, let's see. I think that should be enough for now. I'll just put the woods in the chest. Uh, and I need to eat one of those pork chops. Probably should. No. Awesome. So we have a backlog of food. That is pretty groovy. Now, let's cook. Or, er, no, I'll let the iron cook. I don't care if that's the improper thing. Now we need to find water. Ow. Well, we found water. It's painful. Alright, back to the mine. Back to the mine, where we will turn toadstools into liver. No, we'll uh, turn lava into bulimic French people. That's not it either. Ow. Why do I keep doing that? Mm. Turn lava into obsidian. Those are the words. Ta-da! It's like magic. Endothermic the uh, magic. As I suppose that would be. Well, no, because it's cooling it down suddenly. Anyway, I don't know. I'm so tired, I don't know anything. But I do know that it's actually time for us to call it. So, I will talk to you all tomorrow. And of course, I will have more Minecraft and more Pokemon. And hopefully, I'll have less problems. So, till then, peace out.